Welcome back viewers. Mr. Beast is shocked. Now, please take a minute to hit the subscribe button and flip on notification bell for greater updates and watch this video until the end. When Madison Malone Kircher tried to explain Mr. Beast to her parents, it didn't go over well. Basically, you should catch the closest 10-year-old you can find in the least scary way, because that's the most effective way to understand Mr. Beast's mania. Mr. Beast is like the Beatles were YouTubers, said Malone Kircher, who writes about the internet for the New York Times. It has 309 million subscribers, which is a simply amazing number. And his videos feature provocative stunts. These are fun videos where the prize is always something really extravagant. They offer a private island, cars, really incredible amounts of money. And in return, you do everything they ask of you. In his latest video, you must survive 100 days in a nuclear bunker to win $2.5 million. Trap? The money was in the bunker, in a chimney. And at any time of the day, an alarm could go off and you only have a few seconds to reach the alarm and turn it off, otherwise the money will burn, says Malone Kircher. With all this in mind, it's easy to see why Hollywood sought his services. Earlier this year, Mr. Beast landed a major deal with Amazon MGM Studios. The plan is to push their reality show formula to the max. He called the new challenge with thousands of people who filmed Beast games. This is where the problem begins. Now, Mr. Beast is facing accusations of mistreatment of his competitors and colleagues, and old accusations are being resurfaced as well, things that have not been fixed so far. Most of his brand is invested in making him look good, but is he really? On Thursday's episode of What Next, we discussed whether Mr. Beast has started to lose his luster. Our conversation has been condensed and edited for clarity. Mary Harris, so where did Mr. Beast come from? What is his real name? Madison Malone Kircher, Jimmy Donaldson. Originally from North Carolina, he still lives there, buying houses that he wants his employees to live in in Greenville, near Raleigh. He started using YouTube very early, he always used a variant of Mr. Beast, I think the original was Mr. Beast 6000, and from the beginning, very intelligent, he always tried to understand how to break the algorithm of YouTube, how to play the system for maximum virality. There were initial attempts that did not work well. There was a time when I was into video games and it would be broadcast playing Minecraft, something like that. But this is when he really started to take it, he went viral in 2017, in a video where he counted to 100,000 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 40 hours later he reached 100 000. This video has gone viral. Yes. The kind of thing a teenager might challenge another teenager to do. And people started watching in droves. Has it evolved? Is he starting to be more of a prankster? And then he became a philanthropist? He definitely moved on from his stunt activities. This is one of the hallmarks of Mr. Beast and is now a YouTube staple that he has definitely created. In 2018, he had given about $1 million during his stunts and became this philanthropist on YouTube. And what he realized is that you don't need $100,000 to give. I can call it Insert X brand cornflakes. They will give me $100,000 and sponsor the video. We'll make our splash, get a big picture, and I'll be the one handing out money from the bag. Isn't she? You wish you had thought about it. He said, I still do not consider myself a rich person. He explains that many of these videos are sponsored. But let's be clear, the man, from most reports, is probably raking in hundreds of millions of dollars. Figures currently put between $500 and $700 million a year. He's also a hard worker, by all accounts. He described his personality as YouTube.